for today's tutorial, we're going to do something a little bit different um, in the sense that there's no actual lines apart from one. Um, we're going to be looking at drawing a sky and it's going to be a scene where the, the sun is actually coming through the clouds. It's a simple little drawing and I really think you're going to enjoy it. So just follow along as usual, pause when you need to and just take your time. And this is one of those drawings that you, um, you're going to come back to. It pays to come back to it because you don't want to try to do it all in one go. Even though it's only a half hour or so video, um, this tutorial, it's one that, as I say, you need to take your time, stop, pause it as, as often as you need, and walk away, come back, and you'll see it with fresh eyes. Now, today's tutorial is a little, just a little bit different from, from normal. Um, in the sense we're going to be using a prop, we're going to be using this little cap and that's going to go about there somewhere. Uh, also we need a horizon line. Now the horizon line is about 25mm up. So we need a line, just a light line going across there. Just draw that with your HB, not too dark. And then what I'm going to do is put that there now this is good this is going to represent the sun now what I have here is a little woodless well it's what's left of one of my woodless um, HB graphite pencils um, and now you might have if you've got your own graphite that's fine but if you haven't and yeah and, and well the other thing also I should say is if you haven't you can just use an ordinary um, wood pencil and, we, and you get, get your Stanley knife and we're just going to scrape it's going to scrape just around the top here and it gets a bit messy so we've got to keep try and keep things a bit clean now I'm going to grab a tissue now with the tissue, and also under, I've got some paper underneath, as you can see, just because it will go everywhere. Now hold that down firmly. With your tissue, we're going to just rub. Now this, the, the, the graphite is only just sitting there, so just be careful not to blow it away while you're doing this, because it will. It just uh, and it does go everywhere, so just gonna look just like that. Not too, not too heavy. It would depend on the paper. This paper I'm using is that my out of my A5 Visual Diary, and of course it's sort of a bit. It's not like body paper, but it's quite a soft sort of a paper. But we don't want it going too far under the grain. So we've got to take a bit of it out. Now, <laughs> just gonna blow that away there. And now we'll take that off. All right. Now this is where our um, our blue tech is uh, really going to come into itself today. It's um, it's it's um, it's nice and soft. It's softer than than. Um, than a needable eraser. It is, it's a lot softer. I prefer to use this. Now what I'm going to do is just going to go in here. So you got it like sort of rounded up a bit. And we're just going to go in and twist it. Just twist it. This is going to create our clouds. And it's, it's quite a random thing. It's quite a random thing. Don't, don't try and get it too, you know, um, Uniform. All right. Let's just take that away there. And we just come down to the horizon line. Now this is really an exercise in in taking stuff out, putting it back in. And, um, you know, just we're trying to build up the layers to, to create a crowd, a, a cloud-like formation. So. Come here with my um, pencil eraser. It pays to have 
Um, by now, you know, I'm hoping that you, you would have picked up one of these. You can still use an ordinary eraser, but this this just makes it a lot easier. And what we're going to do is just going to go in here just to take out some of that graphite. away the crumb and then we'll go in here and just do a little bit more now this also if you've got yourself a um, an electric eraser by now you know, like, you know remember I said that, that most of the, the art stores have this sort of equipment now well this is a good time to be using that if you've got one but if not you just blow it away you'll be all right I'm going to go and get. What will happen is with the electric eraser, it, it, it's sort of, I guess because it's um, sort of moving around or whatever it's doing, it's at a high speed, it, it does sort of take a bit more out, a bit easier. Just make it a little bit um, lighter. We're not really after white, there's not really a lot of white around, to be honest. Things are lighter and darker, it's a contrast. And you have different tones. See, you've got, as you see here. Oh, oops, that's um. Let's see what's happened here. My eraser has just picked up a bit of graphite, and I didn't clean it properly. What happens if you don't clean it? You just clean it on your on the leg of your, your jeans or uh, it's a cloth. Yeah, that's better. Just taking that out. All right, now, I'm going to use my um, blending brush. So what we're going to do is just going to go and soften this up a bit. It's, it's an ongoing process here. We're just going to be putting in graphite, taking graphite out. And sometimes it appears that you're sort of getting nowhere, you know, and you it can, get, it can get frustrating. Now I'm going to just get, come in here with my little blending stump. I'm just going to go around and see the light bits here. And it's a bit like you remember when we're doing our posts, how down the sides we um, just go a bit darker. And that just gives the illusion or the impression. Of, of, of pushing pushing things back gives it depth. We're going to do the same here. Now this is one of those drawings where um, you need to step back from time to time because it'll just, you, it'll, it'll look, at, a at times it'll feel like you're getting nowhere and you're making a mess, but it's not the case. And it's just one that with a little bit of patience and perseverance. Um, you can come out with a really nice drawing. So I'm just going to go over a little bit over there. It's just remember, this is the sun just breaking through the cloud. A bit of a stormy sort of a day. Let's move all that. Just take a bit of crumb there. Now I really want to. Take a bit more out of it here. And it sort of makes it look quite, you know, turbulent, quite stormy. And we just keep it small, we don't want to go too big. Now I'm going to use my um, 4B. No, actually, I won't. I won't go that dark just yet. 
I might not need to. I only need a 2B now. And I want to go in here and just dark it. See in here, I just want to go in, keep the pencil sort of quite flat. I just want to go in here and make it a bit darker. But so it's like behind, behind this cloud. Just gives it more depth. So, you know, and it's the same with when we're doing the foliage on, on a bush, you know, we have the, the clusters and one's in front of the other. And this is a great example of, of you know, doing as much as you want or as little as you want. Doing clouds is anyway, it's, it's you know, you can make it as dramatic as you like. And what I suggest we don't get too, um, don't, we, we try not to get too detailed, too make it too intricate because when you're just starting off, it just pays just to, just to keep it to the basics. Like, you know, rocks and stones and that, we don't want to overdo it. Okay, now I'm just going to go in here with my blender. I just want to go and just soften that up. Just push it all back. And come into the, the lighter bits as well. If you look at a cloud, this is one of the things that um, is a good idea. Uh, is Always refer to your reference photo. Like, if you're taking a photo of some clouds, um, this this here is actually just a, it's in my head as usual. It's just a generic cloud. Um, but study it, study, look at clouds. You know, just and the the more you look at it and study it, the more the brain will sort of figure it out, and the, and the hand and eye coordination will will just take over. And the same in here, just gonna. So we've sort of got different tones. We've got darker here, then then here. It's a bit lighter, then it's lighter here, and lighter in here. Have a good look at them. You'll see that's what they're like. Just do a little bit more in here. Darken it up in here a bit. I don't think you need to go any lighter than or any darker than the 2B, to be honest. But that's up to you. You know, you might come back to this in a couple of days and go, oh, I think I might make that a bit darker. Of course, there's graphite on the the blending stump, so you can use that too. Just take your time. It's not a race. It's not a competition. Just, just take your time and relax and enjoy. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. 
Now we might just look at putting some little sun rays bursting through. What do you think? Yeah. So I'm just using my um, pencil eraser, just lightly, just breaking through the cloud. Rays, we, we have to just go in and just brush the crumb away. Then we just come in here and just sort of darken that up in places. Just see where we've sort of already gone. Just go in there with a bit more graphite. I'm not going to do too much on this tutorial because, like I say, this is one of those ones where you just got to just take your time and and come back to it, come back to it as often as you need, just to you'll see different things. This is a real classic of of where um, um, walk away from it, you know. Walk away, go for a walk, come back, and you go, oh, yeah, look at that, and away you go again. It'll, it'll happen. And squint your eyes, squint your eyes, you'll see all sorts of things going on. Going around in circular motions here, so I sort of want that to be, um, you know, a bit, a bit darker on the outside. Um, and uh, maybe I might just, just do a little in there. Just to give that a bit more. Just get that a bit more, you know, a bit more light, a bit more. Um, it'll pop out a bit more. Actually, I might just go with my needable eraser there. Um, well, my, my uh, blue tack, sorry. This is definitely blue tack. And just go in there, look. Yeah, and, and screw it as you go. Like that. Now we'll go in here. Very simple, basic cloud. I think what we might do though is might just put a let me just put a little I don't know, a little hill there or something. And just for something different, let's say we Put a, a tree. We'll do a tree. We'll do a, a silhouette of a tree or a bush. Just that's another like another cloud shape. And just down here. Now you won't see a lot of detail in this because the sun is, is shining. You, you'll see maybe little bits of light coming through, but through the through the holes in the and the foliage, but really it's, a, it's, it's more of a silhouette, and just little circular motions. And of course, the sun's come here, so we'll have um, this shadow. 
Okay. Let's see a look at the top bit of BDN here. It's out of, out of picture. And now, and then we'll just go now where the horizon line is. Gonna go along that. We'll just just hold the pencil on its side, straight through the tree. Now, there's two things we can do here. We can just go like this and leave it so that it looks like sort of a dark land. Or just gonna come over there a bit. So it's like that. darker through there so you can see that it's, it's a defined well it's the horizon now what we could do of course is we could go in here with my tombo um, tombo eraser and we what we could do we could make this look a little bit like water it could be the sea but firstly actually what I want to do first is to go in and with a blending stick just a yeah that's what I was I knew there was something there that had to go in there okay, so that, just softly you, you just want to soften it up you don't want to go too hard yeah even down here that can be a little bit darker because it's it's um a hill or whatever it is. Okay, now we're going to make this look a bit like water. So with our tombow, tombow, we're just going to go, look, let's take this out. Little highlights. Now they've got to be straight. Just above the horizon line, look. Now take that off, brush it off. And then I'm just gonna just in there. I might just put a little, let's say we put a little, little branch or something in here just to this is being picked up. Just sort of make it out there. There you have it. That's um, that's that's. I mean, as I say, you could put as much into this, and oh well, I know I keep saying it, but it's true. You know, you could put more into it, or or, um, or, or less into it. You know, and it, this 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 particular drawing is it leaves it leaves it so open for that. You see here over here, I've, I've darkened it. Um, I'll put in bits in here and you can also go in like here we go again I'm going to keep finding things I know that um, you can go inside into the into the whites you know or to the lighter areas and darken them up a bit it's all about contrast it's all about the contrast makes a big difference but like I said I don't want to get into, into too much detail because it's a tutorial it's not um, it's not about me it's about you guys and I'm only here to show you what I know 
and how I, you know, how I get what I get, or how I do what it, um, how, how I do it, you know. So the rest of it's up to you. This is only a guideline. going to go in there again. I'm just using the little blender and, and you, know, you can make it really dramatic. You're trying to create contrast. And it just gives it the a little bit of it just gives it a little bit of a little bit of depth. And then I thought, well actually then what I did, I took the masking tape off while we're off camera. And then I thought to myself, why don't we make it a little bit more interesting? We could do that. And I thought, well, let's, well, let's put a boat in here. It's going across the horizon. So I thought, yeah, why not? Hey, a little, and that could be one of those um, container ships. Way off in the distance there. Yeah. That's just a shape, it's just a shape. And then I thought, oh, okay, oh, make it even more interesting. Let's put some, some verbs in here. Yeah. Yeah, it just, just creates a bit more, a um, bit more to the picture. I'm just looking at that. See, I've, I'm seeing things now, and you will do, um, I'm seeing things that now that I've walked away from the picture and I thought well we could just put a little bit more in, I don't want to do too much but I just just got in there with my blending stick, the blending stump, just put a little bit more darkness in there to push things back a bit, make it a bit more You know, a bit, a bit more um, interesting. But that's it. That'll do us now. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, um, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And subscribe. But thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.